listening to Mukesh. Driving to your block, I slide in my father's cassette of old Hindi songs and I am humming in twilight to the legendary playback singer's baritone releasing those sounds in that language that makes me feel like I am home. In the back of my throat, I can taste my grandmother's translucent thin chapatis that as children we would hold up to the light. The dough so evenly rolled out, not one lump would show. I never appreciated them till her hands shook so much she could no longer grip the rolling pin. I hear the children from the slum that emerged behind my grandparents' small two-story apartment block. They are swearing in that deliciously punctuated rhythm only the born and bred tongue can dance to. I am home for a while. I can smell dust and kerosene in the streets and hear the high-pitched devotions to gods blending without objection to the stone thud bass of the latest film song. Jamming my brakes at a traffic light, I realize home is supposed to be these dustless streets and the smells are alien culinary concoctions that my migrant taste buds cannot migrate towards. I have taught my tongue to like the garlic sting of Hainanese chili paste and form some Hokkien curse words, it even enjoys the harsh bite of it. But it is not a taste, a language that makes my heart sing like these notes on my car stereo. Jau kaha bataye dil, dunya badi hai sang dil, chandni aye ghar jalane, suje na koi manzil. Tell me where I should go in a world filled with indifference. The moonlight filters into my house, but I do not belong. Neither can I think of a destination. <laughs>